this lecture, we're going to use the local inference server of um, the LM Studio app to interact using Python this time instead of the CRL. So instead of making a CRL network, we're going to use the example using Python. So click on Python. By the way, make sure your server is already running, otherwise you're not going to be able to interact with it. And here is the example text. So I'm just going to copy the whole example and I'm going to paste it inside of an, a text editor. And I'm just going to go over it quickly. So here it's importing the OS, which is the operating system, so that it can run commands. It's importing OpenAI. Why? Because we're going to use the exact same interface as OpenAI. However, as you can see, we change the OpenAI base URL. So we're changing it to the instance of our local machine, local host on port 1234, which again is what we have here in LM Studio. The server port is 1234 and it's running on the local host. So that's how we know. So if you change that, then you'll have to change the example to the port that you have here. All right, and here is the actual uh, code from OpenAI. So we call a method that creates a request in OpenAI and the messages are here. Uh, I'm not going to go into uh, the details of the messages because I did this in the previous lectures. And that's how the call is getting made. And then it prints the reply, which is the message here uh, of the, the JSON that's coming back. All right. So first things first, I'm going to create a, uh, um, uh, the code. So um, you have many ways to create that code. But as long as you have a, a text editor or um, uh, any IDE, to write some text, you can just copy and paste this. So what I'm going to do for myself is I'm going to go in the terminal and right here inside of apps, I'm going to create a file. So Vim, I'm going to create um, the example, uh, a file called example dot pi. Why pi? Because it's Python. And inside of this, I'm going to paste. Uh, I pressed I uh, because I'm using the Vim, but you can use any text editor. If you're not familiar with this text editor, that's not a problem. Use any, any text editor that you're used to. And I'm going to save this. There we go. So now if I look with LS, I see that I have my example pie here. All right. So in order to run this, you have to use Python. However, you may not have Python on your machine, which I doubt, because nowadays it's coming on every machine, whether you're using Linux, Unix, Mac OS, or Windows, you can use the PowerShell. Uh, and you can verify that you have it. For example, you can type Python, or mine is Python 3, dash dash version inside of the command line and check this out. It's telling me this. Uh, you're going to have to install some libraries as well. So by the way, if you do not have Python installed, um, go to any web browser web browser and just uh, type um, install Python 3, literally. And, you know, if you have Windows, Linux and so on, and there are so many different ways to install it and go through the guide. Very straightforward, but you should have it by now. Uh, so another thing that I'm going to be using is a pip to install the uh, libraries that are here. So the OS comes by default, but the OpenAI library needs to be installed. I already have it on my machine, but I'll show you how to do this. So first, make sure you have pip, P-I-P. So you do pip dash dash version. This might take a while. Um, so it's looking inside of your system. OK, there we go. So I do have pip installed. So and it's using Python 3.9, which is what I have. So we're good to go. Um, if you do not have pip, then um, figure out how to install it on your computer. Pretty straightforward. Usually when you install Python, you may have installed pip at the same time. Uh, just type install pip inside of any web browser and, uh, for example, macOS in this case. And uh, it's telling you how to do it. Uh, there are many different ways to do this. Having said that, now that I know that I have this, I need to install, let me clear this, I need to install the OpenAI framework because we are using it here, right? So I need to install it. So I just do pip install OpenAI. It's that easy. And it's going to go grab it and install in your package manager of uh, Python 3.9. I already have it, so it says that all the requirements are already satisfied. Um, it might take a while for you to install that, but I do have it on my machine, so I'm good to go. Now, in order to interact with my LM Studio backend, let me clear the logs here. There we go. So now that the logs are clear, the next thing I'm going to do is actually interact with it. 
by running the um, actual code that I just had here. So to run it, I type Python 3 and the name of the file, of the Python file, which is example.py. Press enter. And as you can see, it's doing its 